So, yeah, it's fantastic. This is the uh, the Olympic style event uh, for anyone who's not watching. Uh, this is the type of bow that they will shoot in the Olympics. Yes. Uh, the compound archers won't be in that. Um, but, uh, well, right. trying to talk here. It's getting too loud. Yeah, I can't really hear anything now. The crowd is going uh, crazy for Great Britain here. Massive introduction. Yeah, every, everybody's pumped for GBR. I mean, it's their hometown. Everybody's here to see them. Yeah, so we've got uh, Bryony Pittman there on the left, uh, Amy Oliver in the middle, and Naomi Folkard on the right-hand side there. Yep. Um, Amy and uh, Naomi have been to the Olympics. Uh, Bryony, uh, first year, really, on the uh, on yep. the senior team, but uh, already outscoring the other two quite oh, well. Yeah. So uh, she has a lot of potential to really, really yeah. show some great scores. Uh, the German team there. Um, Germany actually qualified uh, second for this event. Uh, obviously, they uh, they lost their semi-final in, in the bronze match, but uh, this could be a tough little uh, competition for uh, for Great Britain. Oh yeah. It'd be interesting to see how much the uh, the home advantage and the uh, and the crowd will uh, will help uh, boost them on boost them on a bit. Yeah, I think they're. I mean, you can already hear the crowd. It's 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 amazing how much. That the crowd is excited for GBR. I mean, it's. I mean, those are the people they all know, the ones that they've shot with before. Their team's here. Everybody's here for them. So, it's really gonna put them at an advantage. Okay, brilliant. So, um, yeah. So uh, it should be uh, that. Uh, who's gonna be shooting first? I'd say it's gonna be Great Britain yeah, being the lower believe, ranked. Yeah, GBR will be shooting uh, first in this one. But we'll see now. Um, so yeah, just. Uh, very simple set system. Well, actually, I think they might be shooting second. I saw them. Yep. Oh, yeah, Germany, Germany shoots first. first. Um, I, was, uh, I was talking a bit yesterday whereby whoever shoots first seems to have a, a slight advantage, um, but it's fairly even in all fairness. So my, my theory was that if Germany put in three tens now, it's a lot of pressure on to, uh, onto Great Britain, but vice versa. If yeah, if they, they shoot a bad score, it really helps yeah. really boost their confidence that they're able to bump exactly. that up. Obviously, we're starting on time here, exactly 11 o'clock. You can hear mm -hmm. the bells in the background. It's a good start from, oh, yeah. uh, from Germany. Nines, we were explaining yesterday with the compounds, uh, if you're out, outside the gold, then it can be a fairly bad shot. Whereas with the recurves, it's not going to be too bad. There's a lot of room for wiggle. Oh, yeah, you can recover from that pretty easily. Yeah. So uh, if you see anything in the blue, then we're, we're, it's bad, I'm going to yeah. suggest. But uh, and, and anything in the gold is good so far. So in Germany, good start for them. Yeah, you can you can nice. deal with the red, exactly. Yeah. Hi guys. Very fitting uh, dongs of the, uh, of the yeah, oh yeah. in the background. Yeah, you can already see how much or how they're holding much less time. Yeah. It's a very close. It looks uh, like it's after you're, you're gonna call that a nine, are you ready? Yeah, I'm gonna call that a nine. And uh, Naomi Falco, the most ex uh, experienced uh, member of this team, yeah, uh, taking the lead here. Seems like a good start. Oh, good nine, nine yeah. yeah. That was certainly close to the red there. Yeah. Uh, happy enough. Bryony seems to have the best form at the moment. She's uh, she's doing extremely well. Yeah, very uh, consistent. Yeah. You can actually see her steps when she's um, drawing back. It's actually kind of fun to watch. Nice nine. nine. So uh, tight match so far. Yeah, everyone seems to be. Everybody seems to be all warmed up already and ready to go. No one's. Because sometimes you see in the first few arrows they're getting warmed up. They throw a few couple off arrows, but they seem to be on it already this morning. Yeah. Seems good and quick. Nice nine, good. Yep. Uh, so yeah, as we're saying, three nines is, uh, is going to be uh, fairly good uh, at this rate, to be honest. Um, we'd like to see some tens, obviously, but um, it's going to take them a minute to like, get dialed in. It's yeah, gonna, they're going to figure out where they're shooting, where they're hitting the first few arrows, and then go from there. There we yep. go. <laughs> All set. She had a practice hour, and now she's in the middle. Someone trying to be off-putting uh, in the background. Obviously, this is r literally right in the middle of a city. There's yeah, people there's, there's doing their shopping um, all around this uh, arena. So, oh, yep, there's an eight. Yeah, that night, uh, that ten cancelled out by that eight. Um, don't know if GBR was celebrating that eight or not. They seem to be high-fiving uh, inappropriately, inappropriately after that eight. Well, let's just pretend they were getting excited this year. Yeah, let's get psyched. Get psyched, that's what they're going for. They seem relaxed, though, in the background there. Oh, yeah. Seems happy. Ooh, that's, that looks like a seven. 
door is open for GBR here. I think um, this lets them a chance to really push ahead. Yeah. So if they keep everything in the gold here, then uh, they're, they're going to take home a lead. Uh, it's harder to recover with a shooting recurve than it is with the compound because you're not going to oh. shoot nearly as many tens. They're yeah. Cold, so. Exactly. So uh, they, uh, you'd probably find that um, with the recurve event, there's, there can be a large swing in uh, in momentum. So, um, yes. like I say, GBR have a big opportunity here to take uh, take the first set. Uh, they just need to shoot consistently, like they did with their first three arrows. They're doing they're doing it. Brian, fantastic. Yeah, they're, they're going to have no, no problem keeping a, keep a little ahead on this on this set. Yeah. Unlike yesterday, if uh, if you shoot a bad end, then it's going to affect you for the rest of the match. Um, here, you know, all she needs now is uh, what we're talking uh, seven to take the set. That's a ten, fantastic. That's no problem. Yeah, even though she took, they they won that set. And it says let's get even uh, nicer this afternoon. So it's gonna the wind's gonna die down. It's gonna be a little bit warmer. So no need to bundle up as much and or they'll be a little more loose and a little more comfortable with shooting. So I think we'll see even better scores this afternoon. Some uh, big opportunities to. Uh, to put some big scores in later on this afternoon. Um, it's bit, it's going to be a, a full day of, uh, of archery, just like we did yesterday. Um, lots of uh, lots of uh, lots of action throughout the day. Um, mixed team events. Uh, we'll break up the team events and the, uh, the individual events uh, nicely uh, halfway through the day. Um, but for now, let's concentrate on this match. Uh, Germany. They uh, they're an experienced team. They should. Oh yeah. Feel too disheartened being uh, two points down after the first set. I'm sure they can recover. Um, they were shooting phenomenally during this last week. I mean, it was. I mean, they were not missing anything. But I think the pressure of being in Town Square, being in the middle of everything, is really is really getting to them. Yeah. I mean, it's. I can't imagine it's a bit like a, a sheep in a lion's den here, isn't it? Uh, yep. With all the crowd uh, supporting them. But I guess it's not hurting them too much right now. Good start, though. I think it's amazing how when they draw back and they anchor in, just how they do exactly the same every time. Each person has a little thing they switch up or do to make it special. Yeah, I, I, used to, I gave Rico a go before and mm -hmm. uh, it didn't go very well. <laughs> yeah, it's, that clicker can be uh, a bit off put in. Yeah, the, the, well, the, what the clicker is, it's you. Where a recurve shooter makes their arrows a certain length, instead of where a compound you have certain draw lengths, mm -hmm. it's more based off your arrow length. So if you have your arrow a little bit shorter, you get past your clicker a little bit faster. And what your clicker is, once your arrow passes by the clicker, it falls and hits your riser and makes a clicking noise. Mm -hmm. So you know when to shoot your arrow, because if you don't have that, you don't know exactly how far you're drawing back each time. Yeah. So it's gonna be a different height. If you, uh, everyone at home can just have a look at the tip of uh, Naomi's arrow there. You yep. just see that little uh, little thing move. Um, we were talking earlier about um, Rico's um, quite easily can shoot a bad shot and it can really affect yes. them. There's uh, there's a six there. Um, it's gonna be hard to recover from that. Yeah, and already you know even with two tens they're gonna be behind um, after the, you know the halfway point yeah. of this uh, this end. So um, Ooh, like say yeah, this, it's it, not looking good for GVR this match. No. They uh, even though they're two points ahead. It's already, they're only two hours into their end and it's looking tough. Yeah. But you know, Drift just shoot a lot of tens to recover from all this and hope that Jeremy does not shoot the best score. I mean, we're preaching the fact that anything can happen with recurves. Um, I guess Germany can uh, can mess up a little bit like that as well, but um, GBR have got to find at least six points uh, to salvage anything from this set. So uh, but, um, I think the best they can do is tie, hopefully. If they yeah. want to, if they want to pull anything back out of this set, mm -hmm. but it looks like away, Germany so. is not not giving anything up though. They're no. they're gonna secure they're gonna secure this one. Um, so if Germany shoots uh, more than two sevens here, then they've taken the set, and uh, GBR can't even do anything about it. So mm -hmm. I, mean, I think that they'll have this one. Eight points. Eight points. So uh, seven or more to take this set. Some quick maths from me there, fair play. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, and I think she knows, you can, already, you can see that she's pretty comfortable right now and she knows what she has to shoot, so I think she won't have a problem. So it was a seven, so even if uh, Great Britain needs, well, even if they had three tens here, they've lost this set. So the, it's back to two all. Um, 
I think they just need to shoot these uh, three hours well. So yeah, give them just a bit a of a confidence boost going into the next almost set. Like, almost like practice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very good set. Yep. I hear the crowd celebrating. I don't think they understand uh, quite what's happening here. Obviously, yeah. you guys at home have got an advantage. You've got uh, myself and Kylie telling you exactly what's going on. Um, you know, just uh, three practice hours for uh, for Great Britain, just to get into the flow a little bit. Yeah, yeah and it's good enough. There's so many different conditions that can change. The wind can just swirl around a little bit. Because I know being inside of all these buildings around the square really can change the wind up in an instant. Yeah, it can almost it can change direction. No time at all. Uh, yeah, it's a very good point. Let's say, I mean, the buildings around this event, uh, or around this venue, are tall, tall buildings. Yep. Um, you know, maybe not as tall as some of them uh, in America, but uh, you know, like say, we're just sat on a road in the middle of uh, in the middle of the city, and like say, even the building behind is quite tall, and it's just quite easy to for these buildings to reflect the wind around the venue. So it's yep. it's quite easy to swirl swirl around. I mean, you can stand in front of the uh, stage, and it'll be blowing in your face, and you stand behind it. It can be blowing, uh, blowing yep. you forward, so it's uh, it is quite uh, surreal. But uh, they look relaxed. Oh yeah, look at they're loving Happy this. Happy enough. I mean, have, you have almost, I mean, look at I mean, Germany. They are not getting as near much uh, praise as GBR does. I think that's going to hurt them a little bit. Not it's have. It's got to be tough, isn't it? I mean, they are a, they are an experienced team. I'm sure they're used to. Uh, used to pressures but this is kind of different yeah, it's, it's almost like they everyone is against them and there's the whole city is against them and it's a bit a bit harsh but um, that's what comes with home advantage i'm sure they've yeah. shot uh in germany so, yeah do you know i mean there's some there's been world championships and stuff in uh, in germany they've yeah. had that advantage in the past it's uh it's how gbr's to it the thing is though recurve is a lot of a mental game archery is a really big mental game you can you're, you're you can have that top the best equipment, but if you don't think you can make the shot, you're not going to make the shot. If you have, a, you have a little doubt that, oh, this might not work, it's not going to work. No, exactly. So um, who's going to hold up the strongest in this is the thing. Yep. Um, it seems like Germany's doing a great job keeping up, though. I mean, they are they're seem to be ignoring the crowd and just aiming at the target and not yeah. worrying about anything. German efficiency at its best here. Probably. Yep. So, <laughs> See how they cope. So, uh, like we said, the scores are back to zero. That's the uh, that's the advantage of this set system. So, um, obviously, Great Britain shot a bad uh, bad six hours there. But things forget about it. It doesn't matter exactly. Yep. So it's the ability just to forget about it, and move on. Yeah. Yeah. Nine to start out with. Yeah. Solid nine. Nothing to worry about there. Mm -mm. No questions on that one. No. Taking her time, looks solid enough. Nice timing. Oh, oh yep, and she held with the extra, extra little bit of time. I sound like I know what I'm talking about with this recurve stuff, but that was <laughs> a pretty good guess, to be honest. With you. Seemed like a good shot. Seemed like a well-timed yeah. shot. So, uh, and that's the thing about recurve. It's uh, it's all about timing, essentially. So, hold too long, you'll get tired and you'll make a bad shot. Not yeah. hold long enough, you're not using a rusty shot and miss it. Yeah. That one was a little quick. It did. It felt a little quick, and that's exactly it. So, uh, again, 27, an average of 9 is fairly good. Um, an opportunity slightly, but it's... Uh, it's going to be tough for them. Yeah. Especially with their last set they had. It's they need a good first arrow. And it's a low 8 again. She shot a low 8. Well, that was her low 6. Yeah. But, yeah, it, but still, it's... Looks like they need to make some adjustments to their mm -hmm. sights and... Good looking sight, that. Well, thank you. <laughs> Brian needs to steady the ship. A good 10 here, yeah. yeah. On the uh, on the top ten. line, that's definitely in. Uh, so Amy's got an opportunity here to uh, to take a bit of an advantage halfway through this uh, halfway through this set. Uh, make up for Naomi's uh, slight mishap, I guess. Yeah, an eight. It, they still have another three arrows, so there's still time to make that uh, oh. seven. Okay, so two points down halfway through this set. Um, an opportunity to, uh, to take some points there and um, it's not. Okay, so uh, anyone who doesn't know what happened there, um, Germany uh, stepped onto the line um, as they were pulling their arrow out of their quiver, which is uh, not allowed. So you yep. need to get onto the line and then take your arrow out and load, etc. Um, she, uh, she was just a bit quick off the mark there, a bit yep. too eager to... Uh, to, to shoot that 10, but uh, they recovered well. 10, 
They, this, they may be slightly strapped for time at the end, but... Uh, I don't think we'll have too much of a problem. 20 seconds it's remaining. More than they're probably enough to fine, yeah. yeah. And they've shot well so far, a 10 and a 9 uh, in the second half, so they're only four points down. Um, a 10 here, and they've taken the set again. Eight. Ooh, eight. So, uh, it's an opportunity, but it's a, it's it's a tough. tough one. They need three tens to take this set. Uh, ten, ten, nine will tie. I can, I can see them uh, getting a tie in this one. Yeah, I can good see 29 that. Good twenty-nine here. It's gonna take some good shooting. Ten, ten to start. With. So uh, the odds have increased here. You'll, yep. you'll notice that if they get a tie out of this or a win out of this, the crowd. Mental, yeah, we might have to turn the mics off for a second. Yeah. <laughs> might, go, might go deaf. So uh, a 10 here to give Amy uh, uh, an opportunity to uh, take the set. Important arrow, this. Oh. Uh, That's going to be... This is the kind of stuff that can happen, though, in, uh, yep. with, uh, with Rico. So um, GBR started well, um, taking the first set, but they're down now two sets to one, 4-2 yep. down. And it's going to be hard to recover from this, Yeah. which I think there's no way they can... Eight points, okay. So, uh, like I say, fairly irrelevant for the score, which is 47, which isn't a great score at all, but it uh, doesn't matter. They can try and reset now. Um, the advantage for Germany is that they are one set away from taking the bronze medal here. Um, she's going to need to step up. Oh. Oh. Can't really hear too much right now. <laughs> Everybody's going to be pretty excited. You can, hear the, you can really hear the crowd. But no, it's um, recurve. It's it's really it, it's more of a mental game than anything I said before. It's be, even being at home might even might be a slight disadvantage because they're worrying about showing or uh, making all of, all of their uh, fellow fellow Great Britain proud. Yeah. So it's gonna be it's it's gonna cause a lot of a lot of tension, a lot of pressure on them to shoot better. But you might be actually you might be seeing that right now. Yeah, it's just very true. I mean, the uh, I mean, the whole whole of the teams here watching them. Um, they've all got these uh, these grey flat caps on. Yep. So I mean, the uh, pressure's on them a little bit. But um, like I say, it would have been nice to see them uh, take this match and really set precedent for the rest of the day. It would have given yep. everyone a, a huge boost. Um, so let's see if they can recover. They've got to. They have to win this one. Really, yeah, they, realistically. They, yeah, they have to. They have to take this one. If they tie this one, the best they can get is a shoot off. So this this is a, a an important an important set. So um, GBR behind now, so they'll be shooting first, and they've got to shoot some tens here. And I think they know they know that, and they know the pressure's on. So I think yeah. they're starting to starting to feel it now. Yeah. You know, a good view of the clicker here that we were talking yeah. about earlier. Click, let go, good timing. Nine. Wow. Nine. Okay. If, if they can keep it in the gold and the yellow, it's it's going to be it's going to be tough for uh, Germany to I come back at them. I think that's a good point. Um, if you keep everything in the gold, you're likely to pick up a ten or two, and that's good. That's that that can give them a really good opportunity to take a set here. So, anything inside the gold, keep everything in there, and there's a good chance. Yep, Nine. they're doing it. Good. Just got to pick up a ten or two. So uh, it'd be nice to see Amy shoot ten here, but um, main focus is just keep. Everything in the gold, and you'll you'll pick up some lucky tens. Yeah, let's see this. Seems to be shaking a little bit. Oh, she didn't look happy with that. Oh, eight points. Uh, maybe uh, maybe she got away with that. She really didn't look happy with it. But uh, yeah. it's an eight. It's not eight. End eight, eight. of the world. Yeah. Well, we we can see. Then they shot a four in the last set, so anything can happen. Yeah. Germany seemed to be a bit more efficient than we said earlier. Um, they don't seem to be shooting the bad arrows. You can see on their uh, target face there, the worst yeah. they have is a seven. Yeah. Um, you know, GBL have shot a six and a four. So they seem to be a little, a little more spread out yeah. compared to the German team, but let's see what they can do here. Yeah, ten. Just, yeah, they, they're just doing all right, aren't they? Yeah, they're just plodding along, shooting their goals, picking up their tens. Yeah, just a ten here and there will really make a big difference. Those couple extra points make a huge difference. Yeah. Uh, so seven here will tie up the uh, the halfway point of this set, this vital, important set here for yep. uh, for both teams. Ten. Uh, ten, really driving home their advantage here. So yeah, uh, they're not making it easy for GBR no, at all. GBR need a big three hours here, otherwise the match is gone for them. Yep. 
I mean, again, three tens would be perfect, but that's what you get. You want three, you want three tens the whole match. Yeah, that every, every three arrows. So nine, nine. still it's okay. keeping the yellow. So keep out of the red. I think they'll be they'll be able to keep up. Germany have uh, obviously started with a good twenty nine, so they've got a mm -hmm. big advantage here. I can't even with three nines. I don't know if GBR can take the set. It's going to be too tight, I think. Yeah, I think so. Nice. Another nine. You need a ten here for fifty four end. You really need one. Her two arrows. She's shooting the exact same spot though, so she's she's on there. She know she's consistent. She just needs to adjust for wind and adjust for all the small other things. Ooh, I think that might have. I think we're going to have to call this, uh, this match today. So, um, Germany, they need 22 points yep. to take this, uh, to take the bronze medal. And they've had, they've done that every three oh, hours. Every three hours, so yeah. Uh, no, it's not going to be a problem for them. No. 13 points to go. If we see anything in the yellow, it's 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 match. Yeah. Barring a big mistake here, GBR have uh, unfortunately lost their first match of the day. So yep. a bit ten. Uh, they three. basically to make it on the target. To yeah. Uh, anything inside the black or more uh, is a win. Still pressure though. Final arrow. Oh, yeah. Anything can happen, but I don't think it is. No, we got yeah. ten. Oh, that's a great end from uh, Germany there as well. That looks the pressure was on them. Fifty-seven end is uh, is good. Yeah. You can, uh, ask, you can ask much better. Yeah. So um, yeah, first match of the day. Uh, Germany have taken the bronze medal here at the uh, Nottingham Building Society uh, Women's Rico team match. So um, bronze medal. And lucky for Great Britain, uh, they started well. Uh, just couldn't follow through with yeah, the. Yeah, um, they, they shot well. They had a few mistakes, and it really it, it, the, the, the few mistakes they had really hurt. Yeah, I think so. So. Uh, the uh, inconsistency showed by Great Britain in that match has cost them, but uh, I don't think Germany could have been beaten by many people. No, there. They, they um, were shooting, I mean, there was some awesome shooting they had. Exactly.